welcome back. In this video, we will finally get our hands dirty and create a simple Java web app that serves a friendly hello world message when deployed. The app will run on a built-in HTTP server, and later you'll be able to deploy it to Azure App Service. Before we dive in, let me mention that all commands, code snippets, and detailed written instructions are linked in the video description below. If you want to follow along at your own pace or reference anything later, you've got everything you need right there. There are two approaches to getting started. The first is pulling pre-built code from Azure's sample repository, and the second is building the application from scratch. Today, we're focusing on the hands-on approach, building everything from scratch. If you're interested in the quicker method, we've covered that in a separate video linked in the description below. So let's dive into the hands-on approach using Maven. Maven is a build automation tool for Java projects. It helps set up a structured project, manage dependencies, and build the application efficiently. First up, we'll generate the basic project template. In your terminal, run the following command. So I'll walk through quickly what these different arguments are. So the D group ID defines a unique namespace for your project. The artifact ID names the project folder and its files. The archetype, archetype artifact ID specifies the Maven template to use. Version sets the version of your app for version control. And then finally, the false, the interactive mode, uh, it automatically uses default values without prompts. And once we run this command, the result will be a basic structure of a Java project. So once you run the command, you'll see a new folder pop up. Within that folder, there's going to be the main folder with app.java. This is where we will write our application code. And then we have test app test.java, which is where unit tests will be contained. In addition, you'll see a palm.xml. This is Maven's configuration file where dependencies and build settings are managed. So now let's configure the project's dependencies and ensure the app runs correctly as a standalone jar file. Open up the palm XML file and replace the contents with this updated version. Once again, all these commands and code snippets can be found in the link below. So what are we updating in this palm XML? So you'll see that we have a section for the Maven jar plugin. And then we also have our Maven jar plugin. And, and what this does, it specifies the main class, right? So it's an attribute in the manifest file. So Java knows which class to execute when running the jar file. You'll also see that we've included that the version of Java is Java 17. And then we have the SLF4J API, which enables logging and other information, which can be helpful. So now let's write the main application code. So navigate to app.java and we will update the code with this. And what this code is, it's some simple boilerplate code which creates an HTTP server that listens on port 8080. And when you visit the server's URL, it responds with a plain text message, hello world. So now let's run the command in the terminal. Make sure that you save your files and then we will run maven clean package. And what this command does is it cleans previous builds, compiles the code and packages the app into a jar file. So let's see why it's failing. Okay, I am not in the correct folder directory. So let's navigate into the correct folder and rerun the command. So we can see that we had build success. And now let's deploy locally. So what we'll do is we'll run this command here. And what this does is it launches the server and makes the app accessible at localhost 8080. So you can see the pop-up down here. So now let's open in browser and I'll need to drag it around. So you can see uh, we now have our hello world message. So this was a really quick breakdown of creating our hello world application. And hopefully you're able to follow along. The beautiful part about deploying to Azure App Service is you don't have to change anything about the approach 
in terms of developing an application. We built this app from scratch. We have it running locally. And now if you'd rather skip the manual setup and deploy the pre-built app, check out the linked video in the description. Remember, all the commands, codes, written instructions for this video are also linked in the description below. So don't miss it. It is a great place to start to follow along. Thank you for hanging around in this video. And in the next video, in the next part of the series, we'll start to dive into actually how to deploy our application to Azure App Service. See you soon.